So this mademoiselle got in a little bit of predicament. Apparently she said some things which you're not supposed to say. She said that girls dislike hard maths. <gasps> How can you say that? How can you say that? Well, apparently she has statistics. She's got statistics. But you're still not supposed to say that. Because uh, if the statistics do not fit the ideology, then the statistics need to be made to fit the ideology or ignored. Now, I'll tell you something interesting. This is a story about my mother. When my mother was young, she lived under communism, under Ceausescu's regime. And Ceausescu wanted to get more women into positions of power. And there was this uh, special profession called the uh, agricultural engineer. So during communism, you had this uh, communal farming. And at the top of the communal farmers were the agricultural engineers. So they were kind of like the boss. It was a privileged position. And Ceausescu wanted more women to become agricultural engineers, to get in positions of power. And my mother became one, and she absolutely hated it. She absolutely despised every single second of her life. So it wasn't that she couldn't do it. It wasn't that she couldn't get past the exams and get past the university. I mean, she did that, but she really hated her position. Why? Because... She did not enjoy doing that particular job, even though society and everyone pushed her. And the moment she managed to become that, she realized that it's a job that she doesn't enjoy. So I guess it's the same with math, right? Like if some people don't enjoy doing something, being told that, hey, maybe this is not for you is not a bad thing because maybe there is something else that you are very good at and you will enjoy doing and maybe you should look into that. Now, of course, if a person is really passionate about mathematics, if a person really likes math, when someone will tell them, hey, don't do math because it's not for you, do you know what that person will say? They'll say, fuck off, I'm going to do whatever I want. And they're going to do math regardless. And a person who does that, a person who does math regardless of how many people tell them not to do it, is a person that will actually enjoy doing math. And it's pretty much the same with me. I was told by a lot of people that I shouldn't go to med school after I finished law school. But I really wanted to do it, and I did it. So I, I really do not think this idea that, um, well, I, I guess it's this ideology that women aren't into mathematics because society is keeping them down. Like, there's absolutely nothing keeping you down from doing mathematics and um, applying to a university and getting all the exams and then being a mathematician. Honestly, I'm not a woman, but I wouldn't be a mathematician either. I mean, this uh, profession, if I could turn time back, it would be boring as hell for me. I, I just wouldn't be able to do it. I think it would be a big error if, if I were to be pressured into being a mathematician. And I would hate the people that pressured me into it, by the way. I, I would really despise every single step of the way with the people that pressured me to become a mathematician. And then I would have to work with numbers and it would be a very boring job. So I don't think this lady does something bad. Like if the statistics say that most girls dislike hard maths, telling the obvious and being like, look, don't let yourself be pressured into it if you don't want it. Like maybe you're perfect to become an HR lady or a diversity officer or some other noble profession. Just not hard math. But again, like, you're not allowed to say this, of course. Like, this is sexismus. Uh, but it's interesting because it's coming from another woman, right? Like, if a man would have said this, he would have been fired by now. But if this is coming from another woman, then it's, well, all right. So, the head teacher told MPs it was not a subject girls tend to fancy. I just think they don't like it. So, this is, like, exactly what she says. It's like, well, they, they don't really like it. It's not, it's not a... How can you even disagree with that? Like, it, it's she thinks, okay? She thinks, but I guess like the thought police, it's like, how can you think that? She said 16% of A-level physics pupils at her school were girls, but she wasn't campaigning for this to go up. Yeah, again, this is why I told you the story with my mother. This is what happens when you're campaigning. You're going to get some people pushed into something they don't want to do. 
Liberal Do Democrat education spokeswoman uh, also called out on uh, the lady to apologize for her remarks. Like, apologize for what? Like, if she thinks and if she has the statistics, why should she apologize? Why aren't you coming with statistics to disprove her? Why aren't you coming with something to, like, like some evidence to disprove it? The only evidence you have is ideology. Again, like, this is a woman, right? Are you going to call her a sexist? You can't, like, they can't pull the sexist card on her. That's the biggest problem. They can't pull the sexist card. Because, again, like, if a man would have said literally the exact same thing, based on the exact same evidence, arriving to the exact same conclusion, oh, my God, it would have been sexism by now. She told that 60% of A-level physics students at her school were girls. A much lower uptake than for chemistry, biology, and math, where the equivalent figures were often above 60%. She added that this was despite the excellent standard of teaching and a good level of performance. I mean, again, everyone knows this to be true. Not everyone is into everything. I mean, look at entertainment, right? Fifty Shades of Grey. How many men do you know that really like that versus how many women? Like, there are certain things that attract a particular gender more than other. I don't know why this is happening, but all I can say is that I can observe it. I can literally observe that when you have Twilight, showing at the cinema, overwhelmingly, women are there and they're dragging their boyfriends which are kicking and screaming in order to watch it with them. It's just something that we aren't into it. And by the way, that's a good thing. Like, I, I, I think men and women are there to complete each other and, and form stable relationships. I, I don't want a, a, a significant other that would be exactly like myself and have the exact same preference and the exact same thing. No, right? So... But, but, like, to say this is controversial now. Like, to say this requires you to apologize, which is bizarre. So, uh, I just think they don't like it. There's a lot of math um, in there that I think that they would rather not do. That's not to say that it isn't hard stuff to do in biology and chemistry. That is, but it is not mathematics. Yeah, it's not about hard or anything like that. It's really about, like, do you like to work with numbers or not? And honestly, like, some people hate to work with numbers. I'm one of them. I, I would despise working with numbers, as I mentioned before. As to explain why she thought girls would be less likely to make the choice, she responded, research generally, they say that just a natural thing. I mean, I don't know. I can't say. Yeah, like, that's another thing. Like, you can literally not be able to articulate why, but you can just look at the numbers and you can just see that they choose not to do it. I mean... I remember when I was in high school, they took us to this um, university that taught some form of design. Like, it, it taught you how to work with leather, but it was very focused on designing clothes and stuff like that. And when I went there, I noticed that it was overwhelmingly women. Overwhelmingly, like all, almost 90% of the students, they were women. And I'm thinking like, yeah, but I don't want to do this, right? So it wasn't that bizarre that it was overwhelmingly women because I, as a man, like, it wasn't something that I would have wanted to do as a profession. I, I wouldn't be attracted by it. So there were no barriers to entry. Like, nothing would have prevented me from applying to that. I would have probably passed the exam, but I would most likely wouldn't be happy doing that for all my life. So responding to the comments, she says, we need to listen to the experience of young people before making assumptions which can further perpetuate the challenges they face in doing physics. All young people need to be encouraged to learn physics and other sciences. But like, what, what if someone wa wants to be in the humanities? What if someone wants to be a lawyer? Why, why exactly do you have to encourage everyone to do the science? Like, if everyone is a scientist, who gets to build the houses? Who, who gets to drive the trucks? Who gets to do the actual things? In fact, right now, there is such a shortage of people who go to trade school that driving a truck in California can give you around $6,000 per week. $6,000 per week. And then you have people who finish universities and they have their diploma in their drawer because they can't use it for anything. But, but hey, they're educated and they now have student debt. So all I'm saying is that it's not always good to just encourage people oh, everyone needs to become a scientist you can't run a society where everyone is a scientist like someone needs to build stuff someone needs to move stuff around or i guess like this is a little bit of british classism isn't it it's like oh well those are the icky professions like why why should anyone get to do them 
Like, it's only the people who aren't smart enough to go to university that they drive a truck. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that is a bullshit way of thinking. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'll see you in the comment section, and if you like this video, don't forget to throw in a super thanks.